Hi y'all, it's Alice the Vintage Galley Teens. I'm coming to you with a card share plus a little tutorial right after this showing you how I created this. So what I did with this card is I used a napkin to create this card and this is a challenge over at Your Paper Pantry hosted by Linda and um, every month she comes and she tells us what kind of challenge we're going to have for that month on creating our five cards. So uh, let's see, January it was uh, just anything having to do with Christmas. It was kind of like an open challenge on February, which is what I'm doing right now, is a napkin challenge. Of course, holiday Christmas um, themed. And so I used my Mod Podge to adhere that to some paper. And um, then I used stickles here and there to make other, you know, the whole napkin kind of pop a little bit. And then I added a sun and did a smiley face there. So let me show you how I did this. So that's a cute card. I really like the way that turned out. Okay, so all I did was I got my napkin. Of course, these napkins I found at Amazon because I was looking for them uh, at Tuesday morning. Where else did I go? can't remember where else I went that they usually have um, napkins I can find. So I found this pack for $2.42 at Amazon. And so it was free shipping, so that was pretty good. Um, so all I am doing here is taking the white ply off. And I've already done part of this, so you have to go a little slow and just um, continue to pull that apart. So all you're left with is this right here. And so um, what Linda suggested was for us to adhere this to like maybe some printer paper. And so since I already have this, um, it's a very thin sheet, white 12 by 12 sheet. So I'm just going to adhere that. Either way, I'm going to cut all pretty much all of this so it's okay if it kind of overhangs or overlaps so I'm getting my Mod Podge and I'm just gonna put this all over the cardboard or it's not a cardboard but it's like a not such a thick cardstock I guess 12 by 12 so let me continue adding that all throughout and then I'll be right back Okay, so I've already placed all the Mod Podge throughout right here, and I'm just going to get my napkin and kind of pull a little bit. And so mine had some wrinkles. I don't think it looked that bad. But if you're... Um, if you want it a little bit more perfect, I guess, um, you might want to cut up the napkin and do one at a time. And so that one feels like it's already stuck, but I think I'm going to cut this one either way because I only need five because that one already messed up. So it's okay. I already did four, so these are extra either way. So that's that. So let me get my cutter. Okay, so if you want, you can let that set overnight, or you can just cut it, you know, after you let it set for maybe a good, I don't know, I would say maybe five minutes. Um, I just left it sitting there for a little bit so it could dry. Just trying to make sure I have it straight. Okay, I'm not getting any cardboard. Oh. Okay. Okay, so that one did cut better. Okay, so the only way that's going to cut in one of these cutters is if you can get the cardboard so it's much sturdier
Okay, so that's already been cut, so the edge is already trimmed. So now I'm going to cut this in fours. So I'm going to go somewhere here. And there you go. You have your two pieces right there. Let me cut the other one up. Okay, so if you see a little bit of this lifting right here, just go ahead and come back and get your Mod Podge and add a little bit more. Just so you won't have that lifting right there. And just kind of move this a little bit just so you can see if any other little areas might lift up on you like the corners especially and just let that set for a little bit because I'm gonna come back and distress a little bit with some ink so let me let that set okay so the paper I'm using is by I think it's called basil or basil and uh, basil basics and it's a uh, eight and a half by eleven for the card base itself and so I'm just gonna um, score it in half which is five and a half and so I'm gonna use that as a guide as to how much more I need to trim my my base and my I'm just going to ink up the edges. Now this one's a little bit wet, so I don't know if it's going to happen. Okay, let me get this other one. So I'm just going to ink up these edges, just so it won't be so white right there, to give it some definition. And then I'm going to measure that. And I noticed that when I use my, what did I use and it works so well? I think it was this one. Well, it doesn't matter. I, as long as you have a good adhesive. I don't know if it was this one or the double sided for my other ones. But I'm just going to use this one because it's close by me. And this one's just called, let me tell you. Scotch quick dry adhesive. And I'm just going to place that. down and then I would just cut right where that needs to be cut I think I left too much there Oops. and there's that part of the card this is still a little wrinkly okay let me let that set Okay, so after, of course, I do, oh, I'm letting that set. It's going to be kind of hard for me to let it set. I'm going to add, of course, the stickles. I'm not going to show you that. You pretty much know. Just color in with the stickles. And then on the other one, I added this sun, which I used this punch out from, let me see. This is the Stamps of Life, and it has a little sun cut out. And that's it. So that's my finished card. So thanks, y'all, for joining me. Bye.